What's up everyone? My name is Mike, and this is my Kithox Model 4 1200. My wife and I drove from North Carolina all the way to Texas to bring it home. Although you can see me taxiing it around now, it didn't come home in that great of a shape. It needed some work. Not too bad, but it needed it. So I figured I would just kind of document the process and share it with everyone and maybe help someone along the way. If you like it, leave a like. Long story short is I've been searching on YouTube, looking on YouTube, and I haven't really found a video that's kind of my situation. So I did the old school research and uh, talked to some people and made some phone calls and everything else and basically just going to do this one on my own and I'm going to make a video and put it out there and you know I'm not going to be perfect I'm not going to do it probably how some others would do it but I'm going to show you how I've decided to do it and hopefully it can help somebody out uh so first off let me just show you what we got going on here all right so I've got the kit fox in the garage and as you can see uh, I've got an office landing gear uh it's sitting on the blocks and it's pretty much just waiting for waiting for repairs so backstory of this plane uh it was ground looped um this is why i've got in the condition that it's in now uh most of the repairs was already done on it it had repairs on the wing uh brand new grove gear um but the reason they sold building another kit and they didn't want to have to fool with this one so i ended up with this one i'll take it so but what happened was the longerons is bent on the uh, passenger side where it was ground looped um so come on i'll show you the damage this got on there okay so here's the plane as you can see i've got everything pretty much taken out the seats gone floorboards are gone uh control sticks are gone uh center consoles gone as far as the damage goes over here this is the reinforcement plate that the builder put on to uh look after to make sure it could handle the forces of the growth gear uh and where it's damaged as you can kind of see uh, right here where this is bent up, it kind of bends upwards right here at this uh, plate here and kind of bends up here and it kinked the tube here where this paint's chipped off. And then in doing so, it caused this to bend also. I don't know if you can see it's bent. And then up here, it kinked it a little bit. So what happened basically is this whole unit aft right here just kind of twisted uh, up. So... Um, you can see up here, get a good angle. Yeah, you can see where this tube here is kinked, where it kinked it, where it was pretty much bending it down this way. But then you can also see the cross member going across there. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's, it's kind of bent up and backwards a little bit. Checking out the angle from this side, but you can kind of see where it's kind of up and backwards on that cross member. And then you can kind of see this side, put the fabric on this side so I can see how this Longeron and door frame goes. You can see down here how it looks and then I can compare it to this side over here and how it's supposed to look. So when you get real low on this and you're looking at it, you can kind of see where it starts to bend right here and it just bends and then goes back to where it's supposed to be over there. So I'm going to have to replace more than likely going to have to cut this out and replace this one. Uh, and as far as up here goes, it's pretty much probably the same process. And I'm going to have to sleeve this. or I have to, I'm going to have to work on that specifically because that's indented pretty good. So it was quite the challenge getting this airplane uh, inside this garage. And with the wings folded and getting the gear out from under it. Uh, it was back and forth basically between the back and the front back and the front just kind of working the jacks and doing all that stuff to get it up and eventually finally did majority of the weight is held by these front jacks here and then this right here this is pretty much for looks see that's just kind of for looks that just gave me extra peace of mind that something's there and the other half of the weight is held back here on these blocks as well on this uh this thing here which is nice to have which is usually on the ground is what i use to roll in and out of the garage with so i just want to show you a little bit about what i'm about to do in the next couple of days 
So in order to fix it, we're going to cut this reinforcement plate off um, along this seam here. Cut out this portion of tubing, replace it. Once we cut this out and this off, this should spring back to where it's supposed to be. Um, but if it doesn't, then no big deal. We can just bend it because uh, the bottom truss down here, it's not bent. It's still straight. It only bent the top one. So hoping once I get that cut off that this will just spring back to where it's supposed to be. Put in a new tube in here. This tube is bent, but once again, it should be able to bend back to where it's supposed to be. Um, if it doesn't, I've got some tubing to replace it as well. Um, and then, of course, I have to um, replace this laundry on here too. So, so far, I've gotten the paint stripped off of here. Just got a little bit more to strip off of this to make sure that it's good to go for welding tomorrow. So, without further ado, we're going to continue on stripping off the paint. Okay, so I did a terrible job of filming this, but this is my cousin. Um, he was nice enough to come over for me, and he's a master welder, and he did a fantastic job um, cutting out those bent tubes and replacing them uh, with the Cromali I ordered from Aircraft Spruce. Um, but these are just some photos I snapped while he was doing it. Uh, he welded in the new frame and all that there. And you can see in the small video that I was able to do after the fact, he did a fantastic job. And then here's the finished product. 